everybody for watching my videos while I was gone. And I'm so thankful that I had a handful of videos that you've never seen before. So I really didn't have to stress so much. You know, that's great how it worked out that way. Because normally, I only have one or two videos ahead of time. But today's Thrifty Thursday. As you know, I was gone most of the week. But this is Thrifty Thursday from last week I didn't get to share with you. So I'll share with you what I got. This Thrifty Thursday was some very unusual things. And I really didn't spend that much, but I got some things that I think you guys are going to really enjoy. So the first thing I got for $1 are these napkins. They are really cute. They're actually cuter in person than they are on camera. It's, I don't know, six of them for a dollar, and they're strawberries. And I don't use these for that, but I'm going to use these for different different things. So I'll show you what I use them for in just a moment. I really like sharing with you what I get for my Thrifty Thursdays, but then I like sharing with you what I do with it. So that's what I'm going to be doing from now on. So when you see my unveiling of my treasures that I get at the thrift store, I'm going to take you along and show you what I do with them and how I decorate. So I got this for 50 cents. I spent four dollars and eighty four cents so I got this for fifty cents and I'll show you where it's going and then I got some vintage light bulbs yeah we have a theme going here twenty five cents each aren't they adorable I just love the old packaging and then I got this one for fifty cents these little light bulbs then I got this and it's going to be almost impossible to show you on camera, but it is vinyl. It's a piece of material that's vinyl. And it was 50 cents. I don't know, but I think I'm going to use it to wrap bread in or use it like that. It's adorable. I don't know what you would use it for, but it's neat. It's washable vinyl, almost like the old time tablecloths that you used to have. And then I got this tablecloth for $1. It said it was a drop cloth. What they do is they're tablecloths that maybe has a little bit of a blemish or stain on it. They use these really cheap for a dollar and they call them drop cloths like for painting. But sometimes you can get some really nice treasures for $1 and I needed that. So that was my thrifty finds. But then, when we were leaving the thrift store, there was all kinds of these. Pine cones. Now, we have pine trees here, but our, little, our pine cones are just little tiny things. And I got a whole bag full of pine cones I picked off the parking lot, because that's going to be an upcoming video, which I'll share with you next week. And I was so excited because I really needed some craft paper and my husband ordered something through Amazon and look it came wrapped in this paper and I really needed that so as I get myself back on track and get my all of my household chores finished I'm once again ready for all of my projects and all of my fun adventures and all of the neat things that I have in store so let me show you where all of this stuff is going so many times people ask me, well, every week they see me bring in a bag full of this and a bag full of that. And they often wonder, when is my house going to get too full? Well, I do like to circulate things. So if I have something that gets too worn inside the house, then I would take it outside and use that as decoration. And then when it gets too worn outside, then I get rid of it. That's how I do things. I've always been that way. So let's say I find a pretty basket. And I use it so much that the basket gets has broke handle or broken something in it. I'll take that basket outside. And then I'll use the basket outside to decorate. And then, of course, when the basket gets too worn, then I get rid of it. But I'm working in my pantry to try to organize everything. And I'm really excited to share with you this weekend what I get at the food pantry. I'm really leaning towards now dehydrating everything that I get. I'm really leaning towards dehydrating in general because I really think dehydrating is a way to go with long 
storage, long-term storage, and I also think that dehydrating, it saves you so much space. And so let's get started and I'll show you where I'm putting all of these good items. I received this from my son. He didn't want it anymore and it's a battery operated light. And I really like it, but it's very, very bright. So, we're going to put the 50 cent lampshade on there. How cute is that? I use all rechargeable batteries. I do not buy batteries that aren't rechargeable. So there you go. That's the lampshade for the light. When I go to the thrift store, I really try to have a visual mindset of what I want, what I need, what I would like to have. And that makes it so much better. The light isn't so bright. And I got it all for 50 cents. That is where the light bulbs come in handy because I got the light bulbs because they don't always have them. So now I have plenty of light bulbs, I have rechargeable batteries, and now I have a beautiful lampshade. So where else am I going to put my items that I got this week? Well, let's see. Hmm, I got some of these. So what are we going to do with these? Well, let's find out. I use this cleaning cloths. These are going to be cleaning cloths, and I always use rubbing alcohol, but I don't have any. And I always use rubbing alcohol with some essential oil, but I don't have any of that. And I'm going to use this I got for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I don't like using this stuff, but this is what we're going to use because this is what I have until I get some of my rubbing alcohol again. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put these in. Now these are going to be general kitchen clean wipes. So these aren't going to go in the bathroom. What's in my kitchen is in my kitchen and what's in my bathroom is in my bathroom. So I never use one or the other. I keep one in each room. It's going to be to, like to wipe down countertops, uh, wipe down there at your kitchen when you're working. So I'm going to put some of this in. Rubbing alcohol and essential oil works just as good. I tried using water and essential oil, but the water will get a very mucky, mucky smell to it after about two weeks. I really like having these on hand because really quickly you can just pull one of these out and use them. Yes, they are very pretty for that, I know, but this is how we're going to use it for these. And then you always want to make sure you label it. So we're going to label these cleaning wipes. Ask me why I don't use a lot of paper towels. Well, because you can reuse these over and over again. One dollar for these napkins, one dollar for this. These napkins will last me many years, and so I needed some for my kitchen. And once I get some rubbing alcohol, I will use that from, but you use what you got. And if you don't have a lot of money, the Dollar Tree is a great place to get things that you need. It's antibacterial cleaner. It does have chemicals in it, which I do not like. But, hey, when you have a necessity, you use what you got. Beautiful material. I'll show you probably in the middle of next week what I'm going to do with it. Because I have so many ideas running through my head but I don't know quite exactly what it's going to be. But where's the tablecloth going? Well, come follow me outside. Days and days and days of rain. Finally, the sun is shining through. And this table here outside had a tablecloth that actually started rotting because it was so old. But what I like about this tablecloth is it's dark in color. So, you're not going to see a lot of dirt as much as you would on a lighter colored one. Perfect! And if we don't have any snow, it's going to be perfect around Christmas time. I will be able to decorate my table for Christmas. I think that's a winner. <laughs> Take care, everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And thank you so much for all your prayers. And life is back to normal. And I'm so excited and happy. Bye, everybody. <laughs> From Fanny's Diary, we're on October the 24th, 1943. And Fanny writes today, I was not feeling very well. 
So I spent the day relaxing and taking care of myself. I've been so busy these last couple days, it feels good to relax. I filled a page for David Barton's accident for in his scrapbook. Do you remember in those days they used to have scrapbooks and everybody got a page and everybody would fill out their page and put it in a book together. Oh, I miss those days and how fun it would be when you would receive a scrapbook of all of your loved ones and their pages that they would decorate with old calendars and stickers. Those were the good old days.